Hi, I'm Cynthia. This is Saber Tree Healing, and I'm here to help you heal and transform your reality. I'm so happy that you're ready to heal, to change your life, and to make it a better reality for yourself. Did you know that manifesting is actually very easy? It is. We're doing it all the time, right? All the time you're being co-creators of the reality that you're in. Constantly you are creating good existence or a bad existence for yourself, whether you know it or not. I've been using manifestation for decades in my life and it's to the point where I use it daily. I use it all the time to correct my course of action in many situations. I use it when things get tough and a little dark, right? Because everybody's life gets like that at times. But it is such a great tool. I think that kids should be taught it in school. We should all accept that we are creators. I believe that manifestation is a gift that we were given. It's a gift that we have to become aware of to know that we have this power to use this tool, to practice it, get good at it, to create happier lives for ourselves. As an acupuncturist, I always think about health, my personal health, the health of my patients, and I use manifestation to create health and well-being for myself. And I teach my patients to do the same thing. There's many different tools out there to help you manifest. If you put it in a Google search, you'll find all these different uh, tools to use and do. There's meditation, visualization, scripting, um, vision boards, prayer. Prayer's one, right? Every, a lot of people know, do that one. That's, so many different tools that you can do but it's not really about the tool that you use you should use some all or just one of them you are the key to how easily and effectively you can manifest what i mean by this is that in order to manifest most of us know that in life we are um, creators by doing physical things so we want to build a house so we start thinking about gathering money what we're going to need for it who we need to talk to in order to create that's one way we can manifest things and then the other way is to use the spiritual world that realm to help us create and manifestation actually involves the colliding of those two worlds it's building up the physical experience and also building up the spiritual experience to a point where they both meet, intertwine, and then the spiritual world opens the door between the two. It can then step into the physical world and create in your physical reality. But the thing is that in order to open that door between the spiritual and physical experience, you can use different tools to open the door. But the truth is that the key is you. You are the, the co-creator of your reality and you are the one that has the power to swing that door wide open or not. So in order to really manifest effectively and quickly, whether it's good health or relationships or whatever it is you dream of in this life, it's really about getting your mind right in order to swing that door open quickly. You truly manifest when that door swings wide open and the spirit world can travel into the physical world and create. But the way to swing that door open is when you, even for a second, hold 100% belief, certainty, and faith that what you're trying to create is possible. It doesn't matter which tool you use of all those that I named before. What matters is that you can hold the space long enough of 100% belief that you can hold that long enough to allow the door to swing open and spirit to enter. So how do you do this, right? You do this by using those tools. You use meditation, you use prayer. The tool that I like using the most is meditation and prayer because while using those tools, I am consciously aware that I'm connecting with the spiritual realm that is greater than me, that has that power, that belief that I don't have, that I am still working on trying to get to that level. But when I connect to my source, to God, I feel like I gather a power that I don't really have and I can connect with that 100% certainty, 
level that I need to in order to manifest. To me, it's working on faith, really. It's like all these tools that are being used and that I myself have used are all working on strengthening your faith. And if you don't have that connection to source, if you don't work on that connection to source, where is manifestation coming from? Where are you creating from? So it's not saying that um, I am a creator. I'm saying I am a co-creator because we can't fully create everything. There's always going to be other creators around us, each other. There's always going to be master plans from the universe happening. There's always going to be these random events from maybe galaxies of creations happening at a time. So I like to say that we're co-creating our existence. The trick is being an active participant of your life, knowing that you have this power, knowing that you can create and doing the work that it takes. So if you wanna manifest something, whatever it is, even your health, you're gonna be doing all those physical things. You're gonna be visiting the right doctors, trying to figure out what to eat, which way to exercise or whatever it is, right? taking any step in the physical plane towards that goal and then in the spiritual world you're going to be doing all these tools you're going to be praying you're going to be meditating you're going to be visualizing all these things in order to level up the energies of the both planes so that they intertwine and open the door remember that all the tools that you're using are really just trying to get your mind right, to get your mind to a place where you can believe that these things are possible for you, whatever they are. It's really hard to heal, to have health, if you don't believe you can. And many times, if you've been in chronic pain for so long or you've had an illness for so long, it's really hard to get that belief. But if you do the spiritual steps to change your mind, the quicker you will see some shift in the physical world. And the way it happens is sometimes it takes a lot to just swing that door open, to have 100% certainty and faith. But if you do the work on the spiritual plane, you'll start to slightly crack that door open and a little bit of spirit can get in to help. Yes, spirit helps. Your connection to source allows you a gift of giving you support. And it does this by sending you information of how to get the thing that it is you're trying to manifest. So when I'm doing work, when I'm trying to, let's say, get healthy, I am doing the physical work, I'm doing the spiritual work, and I'm holding awareness. I'm being aware, knowing that that work that I'm putting in in the spiritual plane is going to start coming through and giving me support, giving me help, advice. I'm looking out for new ideas I might have. I'm, I'm looking out for guidance of what it is that I should be doing in order to manifest my dream. So in order to truly create and manifest, you have to get your mind right. If you, you can make all the vision boards you want, you can meditate till the cows come home, but if you don't get your mind right, if you don't believe, if you can't hold that belief for even a second, of 100% certainty that you can create this, it's gonna take a long time. So work on your belief systems. I've created videos, you can go into my um, videos and look. All the systems that I give there are really to change that, to change your mind in order for you to create whatever it is. And for me, health is our number one most important thing that we all need. When your health is gone, you realize everything else meant nothing. So. I've been using manifestation to create health, not just for myself, but for my patients for a very long time. And one of the examples of this is that when I have something that ails me, that, that comes into my life and is disturbing my well-being, I spend time in that spiritual place connecting with my soul and my body because your body sends you signals. These pains, these disturbances in our health are really our body sending us signals, letting us know that something requires our attention. And the more you ignore it, the louder they get. So the most important thing to do is to listen to those signals, spend some time with your soul and your body to figure out why this is happening, to figure out what the source of this pain is to figure out what the source of this disturbance is. It's how I healed my 
pelvic floor. So in other videos, I discuss having this disorder and it's a chronic thing, right? But I would spend time, I mean hours sometimes, in that spiritual realm trying to heal, trying to see what signals my body was telling me. And it does, it starts telling you why this is happening. And if you can receive those signals and process them, then your body no longer needs to send them and you can live in better health and well-being. So that's all part of manifestation. Because if you're trying to get health in your life, one of the most amazing tools you have is stepping into that spiritual realm and doing that work, that spirit, spiritual work that it takes to heal. Healing is a spiritual practice. You can manifest your health. You can get better. You have the tools. You have the power to create your reality. And that includes creating well-being and health. So remember, decide, commit, and take action towards your healing and transformation.